What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies, and tonight I enjoy the three dummies. I have Mr. Jisk One. Yo, what's happening? Mr. Robert Detoff. Hello. And uh, Miss Skullface. Uh, say it again. He couldn't again, remember. Well, who I'm, else, I'm, who else is in this room? And tonight we are going to continue with part two <laughs> of our collection critiques. And I just want to say that uh, I still commend everyone for sending them in. I'm not sure we're going to make it through them all, but we will come back to it at another time. We won't do the part three straight away, but we will come back at another time if we don't finish them all, which we won't. Let's get started. And this is from... Rich, this oh, so my guy man. here has the Nana and the just getting started or Nona. He's got something new. It's like the dining room table. I had to, I literally sat up in my chair when I saw this. So I don't think that that looks terrible to have the combiners on like this little freestanding table and overkill there as well. But what but it's is a weird positioning of those guys well, on the table? Three Bobby. large ones. I agree, the but what's weirder <laughs> is the three and three quarter Star Wars figure all the way to the right on card from Episode Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's the star trek the star trek deep space nine security officer oh my god <laughs> and that too is strange now i do like the star trek little frame thing he has over to the left like that looks like it should be in the middle you know and a nice and then like maybe some star trek stuff on the table would look nice yeah. well i don't think you have to just have all star trek stuff but that's a, it is an interesting distribution of things what bothers bobby is the fact that the star wars one is like off the kilter <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like the junkions are super squished, and I feel like, <laughs> and I feel like, and I feel like we could probably well, lift up the here, shelf above at, just at, one notch. Yeah, no, look at that the, look, shelf could have gone up two no, notches. I don't no, think not it. two look notches. Look at the size of the notches, no, though. I I They're, almost promise you, with that six shot, yeah, six shot. They, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, otherwise but, he would have done you could, it. But you could put him in a crouched kind of position. I think you could sort this out. Okay. Look, they're no, they're posed. No, the junkions look. The junkions do look great. The junkions are the best posed. I don't hate this i don't i don't to be fair i don't hate anything that this guy has yeah, i feel like but. he's made an effort with the poses in general i agree he does pose these figures you see listen guys you you got the zeta you got the toy world you got fans hobby you got fans toys you got freaking star saber you got xtb you got six junkions you got make toys headmasters you got a headmaster display but you have known as china cabinet robert robert, robert, robert this, this one yeah this one triggered him like, if you look at if, if you look at the top shelf for the Autobot one. One thing you can get away with, right, like do away with straight away, is whatever that thing is from Optimus Prime's trailer sitting in front of Trailblazer, or Trailbreaker. Like just get rid of that. Like and get rid of Wheelie. Oh, the roller. Yeah, thing get rid of all over. that fluff and spread those things out of it. That's an easy fix right there, just for that. I get like, yeah, listen, I, I know it's like because it's kind of a bummer to do. Like, then what do you do with the accessories? But man, get rid of all those accessories. This is from Shy Jetfire, and this is pretty sharp it's a lot of glass but this is not your normal approach and i'll tell you i love the alt mode stuff the robot stuff little busy Ooh. little busy but not hateful but the oh. alt mode stuff in particular looks really good to me it's hmm. like eight feet tall because this dude is taking this photo from a very high angle or oh, those are very close <laughs> shots that's a good those point that's a good point. This looks professional. What I don't understand is the backdrop. What's going? Is this a garage? That is a good question. I don't know. Maybe in a shed or something. It's like an I mean, angled roof on the ground. Yeah, I don't know. Generally, he's got the spacing somewhat palatable in most of his shelves. But then you look at all I see is Autobots and wings. In the top left. <laughs> yeah, but like even that, right? Like 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 that yeah, top shelf. Again, they're posed well. They're posed and they're dynamic and it's a little busy. But if you look at the next one, it's like the next one is the video game shelf. The next one is the prime shelf. The next one is the movie shelf. Like, he's got a system here. He's got something. It's organized. He's got good spacing on most of his shelves. I just want to say uh, one more time. I love the alt mode shelf. I do, too. Uh, that's, that's Yeah, because it's different, and it looks like classic. Like, just something yep. nostalgic sure about it. I yeah. love what he did with Star Saber and Skyfire. I love it. Wait, wait. Why would? Why does he have Prowl and Smokescreen? Like, what's up with that? Yeah, I, I, I mean, so um, my guess is that he just ran out of room and needed two vehicles to go up there and went with, like, a color palette. Uh, but it's not it's not very palady. I mean red, white, and blue. And then the prow mm -hmm. has the prow the, but the prow doesn't work right. Yeah, the, the prow doesn't work as well. But but I think that's small screen potatoes. Works. Yeah, smoke screen works really well. I put Ultra Magnus in the middle. I mean, it's cool. It's cool because it's I think a little different. Well, uh, yeah, it's just different. You know what I mean? It's not what you normally that's see. Cool. You normally see the robot mode, so this guy's just appreciating 
the vehicle mode. But it looks good. The jets are cool in the top of the other one. Like, yeah. I think that's dope. Yeah, and I think, again, somebody who clearly cares. and Clearly cares. Right. Well, let me, let's move on to the next. This is from uh, Daniel M. Bobby, move it fast. This isn't... <laughs> so he custom-built these shells, obviously, right? And I don't hate that as an approach, but they're unfinished. And the figures shouldn't have gone in them until you finish them. You don't think he wanted the raw wood? Uh, I think if he wanted the raw wood, he chose poorly. You know, like, yeah. I, I think, like, uh, obviously, uh, Six Shot didn't fit yeah. quite in there the way he wished. He <laughs> I was just going to say, look at the Six Shot. He's like, ah. <laughs> but, hey. it's like, it's like he's getting ready to go, like, 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 who's your Huckleberry? <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that this is a cool approach and I think that custom shelves are a cool approach but I think that you need to paint these shelves you need to kind of make it look a little bit less like a hardware store and you need to start posing those right. figures because a lot of those figures look like they're coming off the, the assembly line like especially like if you look at like, the Autobot cars right. the, the jets like a lot of it just looks like it's like yep like this is a transformer I'll tell you here he is standing the pose for jet fire is cool but then you can't have the same little dude having the same little <laughs> this is what i gotta say about it. i like the idea this is i think the first we're seeing of a custom built display mm -hmm. right i applaud the f the idea um and i'm sure a lot of effort went into this but beside that you know the thought of doing a custom built display stresses me out why because i know i would have to account for, for all figures and say okay right how i'm displaying everything and what sizing do i need he didn't do it right and i'm sorry to say it dude i know you worked hard on this but the, that six shot proves that and also scoria scoria is like let me just let me just ask why. you know you, you did not <laughs> but all your shelf should uniform yeah and, and i mean if you look at even that that headmaster your... shelf at the top row there robert they're just like they're just like it's like you took them out of the styrofoam or the clamshell and just put them right on the shelf like room to move them arms down didn't. legs down everything's just like yep i fit in this space like this yep yeah that's just tough i do feel for this dude because like you put all this effort into to to build it and it does look like they're bolted to the wall or at least those back beams yep. are like to even think about expanding in the future is like you're already like uh you're already at a mental deficit for yeah. just the work you got to do but just I, to I mean, dismantle I, I, I think I don't, that it could be drastically improved with i agree some dynamic i agree poses. Like, i agree i don't think this is a lost cause i think they're yeah. saving this i think there's hope He's here such, no there isn't he can't do anything <laughs> No, I disagree. I disagree. I think he's got to let some of this shit go. Like, like he's got like that MMC Inferno that's red and white, but it's not Inferno. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, like, like get rid of that. Shit. You don't give a fuck about it. It's obvious. You don't need that other jazz. Yeah, you don't need right. that thing. Like, like <laughs> you got the the female Velociraptor thing standing in front of the Dinobots. Like, get rid of that. You got a wheelie that you don't care. Like, get rid of that. Get rid of it. Less is Wait, more. You that don't... whole shelf of the Hasbro City Bots. Get rid of all of those. Well, at least the Trypticon, because he, he excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> groaning that Trypticon's face says it all <laughs> why is the shelf so shallow uh, he's just so frustrated just throwing his arm <laughs> get rid of that Go g1 and Trypticon's he's, he's a hard. challenge he's like, hard we had to so take his we took tail it, off we took his tail off yeah we took his tail off like uh, i know you trash with the KFC headmasters, I took off their, I pulled the pins out of their backpacks and stuff just to have them stand up, right? What's in that jar? <laughs> What's, in that jar? <laughs> What's in the jar of goo in front of that? What is that? I don't know. I do want to move on to this next one, though, because there's one thing here that I really like a lot. So this is from Mecha Mace. I and that little table dude oh yeah that thing's cool i love it yeah I love that's it. a straight star wars table they don't look crowded they look purposeful it's interesting like it has utility like it's lit that's one where the background does need to be like the arc computers I think I, well, I, I don't it. think it would be a problem, you know. Like, and I, yeah, got room. There's room behind it for that. Yeah, it, it looks good. Mm. I think it looks a little crowded. I actually feel the same way, Robert. Look, look at you. Now, look, look at you and now, me agreeing. Now, did we just become best friends. We did. <laughs> BFFs now, now, for now, life. now, look at just and I being the positive ones. <laughs> No, I'll but I mean, I else. feel like there's room, like they could be it is crowded out a little bit, but it is crowded. But I think the wedge of it, like just the shape of it somehow works for me. It's like a reverse pyramid. It's not going up. It's going back. Yeah, I love this. I love this. I'm the next picture, 
I can't believe Wait, it's but, the same guy. Right, dude. I agree. <laughs> this I agree. is the exact opposite of everything that's right about the previous. No, this is history. Yeah. He started with the Kmart one. He started from the bottom. Now he's here. <laughs> and then he went to the Detals. And then he was like, I'm better than this. And then he went with the Star Wars. Look, he does have all his higher end figures, though, in that nicer case. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it looks bad. <laughs> what? Like, I mean, I think if you look at some of the shelves individually, again, Again, like he's tried to pose them, he's tried to make it dynamic. But it and doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it doesn't look good. Those detolfs need to get off the floor. Yeah, well, I don't understand, and I have we've seen this in a couple, like like the the I base on the floor, are, yeah, the things on the floor. Like I can't handle. Yeah, that. get that up off the floor. You need to get off. The pick floor. pick uh, up your stuff. He has symmetry going on. This guy, Bobby, you can appreciate the symmetry. He's got Unicron, Primus, and then he's got Voltron, Voltron. Where does Metroplex go? Arguably in the middle of the two Voltrons, but I think it doesn't fit. And I'll bet. Uh, yeah, that would be my guess. Is that it doesn't fit. That would be my. Dude, guess. look at Grimlock. Looks like he just heard a joke. He caught him in laugh. <laughs> Where, 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 where is that? Where is that? Where is that? <laughs> he's got the husky. He's got the husky smile. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> now, let me say this: the other Detolf, bottom right corner, with just the Prime and the Bumblebee, with that one box behind it. I'm good with that. Me too, dude. It's because the box is black. It has nothing to do with just the box. And it's and it, it's, it's the text too, and it's the fact that it's only two pieces, yeah. and they look purposeful in there. Now, right above it is is Silver Bolt with two Insecticons. It looks absurd. <laughs> But but this guy, I, I'm saying this this corner table. He stumbled across this late in the game, and I bet you this has f- up the way that he has seen his collection because this sh- looks good. All right, so let's go to the next one. This is from Pop Culture Warrior. So here's the thing about this: all the sports stuff. It it looks too busy. It what does look good is the Fantastic Four poster with the uh, Captain America shield underneath. Looks sharp. Looks clean. Looks good. It's an ode to kind of their first big hero and their first big team. I'm good with that. And look, he's got a little America eagle down there in the corner. You know what I mean? Home team. I get it. It's a Super Bowl trophy, too. I'll tell you, though, I don't think the stuff he has on the floor, like unless this is just randomly put this way, but it looks like it's put together like with the crossbow on the floor. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible. The art belongs on the walls. Mm -hmm. First of all, the books belong on the shelf. And a lot of this stuff, like the Riddler cane on the wall would probably look great. Yeah. It's too busy. You just got a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that just doesn't feel like it looks right. Like, so you, I think there... you need to curate that space just a little bit better. Let's just, let's do a, try to get a couple more. This is from, I think, it's Piotr. He's a good dude. He didn't share much. Turbo but it looks like he's had some crash work. I mean, a crash box. I don't know. I was going to say. Work done. So he has crap box. the so Nosferatu. He's got the Nosferatu, and he's got the 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 detail thing. I think that that's a crash box thing as well. You can't put one, two, three flame toys and a freaking three zero bumblebee in one detail. Yeah, it's too much. Just prime and drift would have been great. That's over a thousand dollars of figures. On a twenty-two dollar shelf, I love the Punisher setup and like the little. So I do too. That's I great. Think that needs to be in glass. Yeah, that's that great. needs to be in the glass. But I don't know if it needs to be in a detail. If it just needs to be secured somehow. But it looks great. Like the 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 little pegboard thing that he's got the weapons on the the Iron Man suit for lack of a better term. All the weaponry, like it looks fantastic. That was a good. That looks good. I like, get the feeling looking at this that it's kind of the thing that he cares the least about from the four, but it looks the best. What's up with the bumblebee on that second flame toy shelf? Oh, he's side. popping in sideways like, hey. You got you got a detolf that's cool. A detolf is good for a flame toys, but you got to have it on the stand and it'll fill the space nicely. One flame toys per shelf. I think you can get two in a shelf. I'll be honest with you. Um, This next one is from Jim. Whoa. I think this is good. I don't have an issue with this. I think this is a nice setup all around. I like the variety. I like that we have like the, you know, all the systems on the different shelves for the video games mixed in with toys, mixed in with books, mixed in with comics, You mixed in with Star Wars ships, mixed in with two posters, one of the first appearance of Spider-Man, one with the first appearance of Batman and Robin, along with Transformers. On the Transformer shelves, you got books behind them. You got different display oh. options. It's lit. I like. I think this, this is, is impressive. Yeah, I think this is the best one Damn. we've seen overall so far. The more you look, I mean, the better it gets. Dude's got the power glove. He's got the, know, in the, the glass glove case. Glove. Like, holy crap! 
I will say if I'm going to critique it, I think the section with the old computer on it is the one that needs the where it needs work. So underneath, I would agree. It, it's underneath the window. It's underneath the window. It's like, what do you do with the space? I agree. Trying to keep the window. I, you could probably just get rid of it. No way, man. Mm. That's sick. That is sick. But yeah, I agree. This is this is really well done. Wow. Look at the little TVs. It's like a throne of TVs. That's crazy. Yeah, it's cool because there's a lot of stuff in there. And even though like you have a whole bunch of different stuff together because of the way it's done it's like each section is its own thing and it doesn't it his... doesn't feel like it's like hey you have too many things kind of on one shelf even like on his billies like he has that one it's like just it's a jet fire shelf and he has the g1 he has the generations he has the fans toys and it's like right it's like an ode to that character it's like a love letter to that character and it f- works and it's spaced well vertically and horizontally yes Although the uh, fans' toys Galvatron shelf, you gotta get rid of that extra round Rob wire Max. Uh, I don't think that looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> Gumball machine fat fodder right there. Oh, and look at the Dinobots. This is good with Ratchet and uh, what's his face? Wheeljack. And it uh, looks good. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, this is my well, I, my favorite. So I far. like the controllers on the side. Yeah. This Dread. looks very much like something Bobby would love because everything Jesus. is like super symmetrical. I think it looks nice. It stresses you out. <laughs> it doesn't stress me out. No, I mean, I think it looks nice. I like the wall unit, how it's like the different systems and stuff. Like, And then there's the, the old games and like i like the idea of breaking it up different things being displayed you know like kind of like this particular room you know yeah. um well, i like the chairs with the posters yeah. how would you feel being the friend visiting this person and then he sits on the chair that has the blanket on it and you have to sit in the chair near the window and your knee is hitting that countertop Dude, I'm telling you right now. Look at the look at the computer, the keyboard, and the other thing. That's the main chair. That's where that dude sits. <laughs> yeah, that's where that's the command center for that whole room. Are there stains? The Are command there stains? center. I think you're right, Jess. <laughs> you're yeah, definitely no, right. Better. With that, um, you know, like I said, we have a ton more. Uh, I don't know what to do. There's so many. I uh, think, like, see how they go just, over. We've gone like just first come first serve. Just back. Yeah. See what people think, and I would see what the feedback is. I uh, haven't. We haven't made it through a third of it. Okay. Damn. I hope I think most pe- people can listen to the feedback and realize as much as you guys are just like like to entertain yourselves and others um (laughs) like the feedback is typically genuine you know and like i think everybody here has grown you know what i mean like your ability collection is like his his display is the worst display your ability is not my displays are your ability to display things it's not easy you know it's not common sense it's not super simple it's It's incredibly challenging and even when you think you have it you're gonna do it 10 times before you actually have it and then next year you're gonna want to do it a little bit different most people don't have it we are all in the same boat there are maybe two people so far in recorded history who came close to the sun and one is bobby Skullface, and the other is this person that we just saw (laughs) (laughs) but fly too close to the sun and the wax on your wings melts no but i mean really i think if you can look past the jokes and take what is being said to heart that that it will be valuable information to help your collection and the and the display of your collection grow and there's so much to consider and you don't even realize it until you try and fail and you go oh you have to sit with it it takes sometimes some i know for me it took like months i'd have to sit with it for months and be like damn why does it not look right and then You kind of go, okay, I think this is what I need to do. I think one of the hardest lessons to learn, um, and I think I finally have him like on board, is Someone. is that less is more. And like if you have too much <laughs> there, you can't see it. I need to see the wizard, the Fred Savage movie poster where they debuted the power glove. And then I want that followed up with the poster of The Wiz. Michael Jackson, or how about is it, uh, Quincy Jones's version of Wizard of Oz? <laughs> but then let's get an image of Fred Savage in bed, sick with the flu, with his grandfather about to read him a story. Okay. I want Robert's Dragon Ball Z collection. Oh, oh yes. I want a picture of Ballora, but instead she is the uh, Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. The Mona Laura. The Mona Laura. <laughs> the Mona Laura. <laughs> I want the Mona Laura. <laughs> the Mona Laura. Mona Laura Tojangles. Oh my God. <laughs>